One point lesson by Mio. I'll show you how to extract a line drawing with Clip Studio Paint Pro. It's useful if you can extract line art from snapshots. Clip Studio Paint Pro is specialized for illustration. How about the price? Pro is less than a quarter of the price of EX. And sometimes there is a 50% off sale. There are some things you can do with EX that you can't do with Pro. Officially, Line Extract is a standard feature in EX but not in Pro. But there is a way to do it. Yes, you can. To make it short, duplicate the photo, select difference in blending mode, move it with the arrow key, reverse, and, binarize, and voila! First, let's duplicate the rasterized photo. Right-click on the layer name in the layers palette and select duplicate. Select difference from the blending mode. Then the screen will go dark. Click scale slash rotate on the command bar. Click the arrow keys on your keyboard once to the right and once to the bottom. The screen is shifted by one pixel to the right and down. OK. Layer. New correction layer. Reverse gradient. A line drawing will appear. Layer. New correction layer. Binarization. It toured into a line drawing with only black and white. Move the threshold bar to the right to make it black and to the left to make it white. Move the bar to the left and right and click OK at the appropriate point. Now you can extract the line drawing. It's surprisingly easy, isn't it? You can also move it by two pixels. It depends on the original image quality. Let's use the line art just created. First, put them in a folder. With the four layers selected. Title bar. Layer. Create folder and insert layer. The entire image is now stored in a folder. Here's a trick. Layer. Merge visible to new layer. A new image layer is now created at the top. Let's make the white area of the image transparent. Edit. Convert brightness to opacity. If you make the bottom layer invisible, you will notice the change. Specify this line drawing as the reference layer. Create a new raster layer and move it under the reference layer. Now you can paint over the line drawing. Select a new layer under the reference layer. In the tool palette, auto select. Refer to all layers. Now we can paint on the line drawing. Let's use the spray tool to fill the area enclosed by the lines. Tool properties. Do not cross lines of reference layer. Since the line drawing is not perfectly closed, color leakage may occur. Make a new layer for each of the sky, mountains, houses and ground, and paint them. You can also use the fill tool to fill in the area enclosed by the lines. The reason I don't add too many layers is that I want to paint as if I were blending of colors in a watercolor painting. Touch the opacity bar in the layers palette to adjust the shading of the colors. Finally, select Cherry Blossom from the Decoration Pen tool and draw in red cherry blossoms.
As an added bonus, let's try a classic car image. Duplicate image. Blending mode. Difference. Move it with arrow keys. Reverse gradient. Binarization. Put all of them in a folder. Layer. Merge visible to new layer. Edit. Convert brightness to opacity. Set as the reference layer. Place a new raster layer under the reference layer. I mainly use the airsoft brush to apply the colors. Finally, select Sparkle from the Decoration tool to finish. Now you know that you can extract line drawings with Clip Studio Paint Pro. It can be used in many ways. I think it's perfect for sketching or drafting watercolors.